in this tutorial i am going to display all of the product what we will add through this add button so we want to add our product and display this products uh, in the bottom of our web page here after every time when we pressing this add button so let's do this so for doing this we need to map through this array so you know map is a javascript function so i'm going to map through this array so it is our ui and i have mapped through this ui using the array of product list in this map function we catch all of the product and display the product's name quantity and price now i'm going to add in product you can see nothing is showing here but when we refresh or re-render the page it it is shown here then add another product now there is the same error nothing is shown but when we rendering our product is added but how can we fix this for fixing this we need to uh, we need to declare an state so for this case i am using this declared state so i am going to set the state in this product listing function Now let's try again. Now it is working perfectly. So now we need to calculate the total amount through the quantity and the price. So at first I need to multiply through the quantity and the price. Then we need to add all of the multiplied quantity and the price then it will be displayed instead of the sum so for doing this we at first we need to catch the price and the quantity and then multiply this we can get this here from the data parameter so I am going to declare an state now i am going to set the multiplied number in this state set multiplied dot as dot price into dot as dot now we should console log this if it is working
so here we you can get we can get the multiplied number here so we should add all of the multiplied number and display it here so i am going to do that so at first we need to declare another state as total number so i have set the multiplied as the initial state of the total amount then we will update our total amount as every time when we multiply uh, when we multiply a new product quantity and the price and we have mistaken here set total amount let me check again add a product set the quantity add another product yeah our total amount is calculated the, our functionality is working now but there is a bug we need to calculate total amount but it is zero after adding our first product but when we adding our second product it is working i will fix this in the next video